Well, several lawmakers here in the Senate are losing their committee seats after that first vote. As for Stefan, he switched his vote after two coronavirus bills he's backing started moving forward. He says a mutual agreement was reached. It was like it's like a point game of poker where you throw your all your chips in on one hand. Stefan is a Republican from Hutchinson who believes the vaccine isn't the only answer for fighting coronavirus. Well, the vaccine's part of the puzzle. It's just not all the pieces. That's why he's backing a bill that would allow parents to skip out on child vaccine requirements and require pharmacists to fill prescriptions for alternate off label coronavirus treatments like ivermectin. I've been saving more lives in the last week than I saved in my entire career as a physician. This bill has the opportunity to save more lives than I saved in a 32 year career. The measure is now moving to the Senate floor. Some Democrats After are claiming Senate. backroom deals were made to get Stefan to switch his vote on overriding the governor's veto of a controversial congressional map. There's activity and phone calls being made by leadership to try to get people to change their votes. It became pretty apparent there were some trades made. Stefan switched his vote to override the governor's veto in favor of the redistricting plan, but says he still has concerns about the map. He does acknowledge that an agreement was reached. The best of all worlds, uh, is the way it played out. The majority of my constituents are happy with all that, that's transpired. Now this coronavirus legislation the senator's backing could move to the floor soon, we're hearing just within the coming weeks. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.